What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video. We're continuing the What I Run series. Obviously today we got a rifle and what I'm going to do is go from muzzle device to butt stock and I'm just going to tell you what I run and why I run it. So let's let's get into it without further ado. The Mod 1 Compensator from BCM. I love this thing because you can just dump a mag and that it will not move. The gases are dispersed evenly to the sides and vertically. So you can just hold that thing right there. Howbeit it is a 5.56, so there's not a whole lot of uh, recoil anyways because we have a good mitigation system. But I, I really like it. It's a 14.5 pin and welded. And I got it all done from BCM, the whole upper, and then I threw my sights and flashlight and vertical grip on it. But speaking of flashlights, let's move. This is the Cloud Defensive Rain 2.0. It's the full kit. I have the tail cap. I have two different ones for momentary and constant on on the pad uh i really like it i've got the arasaka mount for key mod uh with the attachment on there it shares i believe the surefire scouts footprint so anything for a surefire scout will fit this cloud defensive i like it it's it's a little bit set forward you can tell that the the uh, the base is a little bit further back so it pushes the light out I like that a lot because you can start getting build up on your lens and we don't want that. So moving to the sights, I have Magpul Pro flip up sights that I've been running. I got them sighted in at 50 yards. I like them. Uh, I don't really ever use them because I uh, have an Aimpoint T2 on here. <laughs> so I don't ever use them, but they're on there, whatever. Uh, I have a BCM QD mount. The reason I like Key Mod and the reason I bought Key Mod was uh, the sling attachment. So I like the sling attachment because it's almost flush. And then the second reason I bought the the Key Mod from BCM is because it was all they had available. They didn't have, they didn't have any M Lock available. But uh, I bought this and then I figured out I was like, man, that's really cool how it uses the hole in the Key Mod for your sling attachment. So I thought that was really cool. It lets it sit flusher. This is a Magpul MS1 sling. I like it a lot because this is how you tighten and loosen it. And to me, uh, I like not having to worry about, you know, some of them have like a little string or paracord that comes off that they use. And to me, that just seems like you can get it caught on something. So I use that. Moving along, Key Mod BCM uh, rail covers. They're slightly knurled, so you can get a little grip. Uh, I like those whenever my hands get sweaty, get wet, uh, I can still rock and roll. Uh, this is a Samson Manufacturing Group Shorty Vertical Grip. You can unscrew the base, pull it off, and there are six uh, different vertical grips that you can put on here. Three plain, a short, medium, and long, and then three grenade, a short, medium, and a long. Uh, I went with plain because... Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to check it out. Ended up liking it a lot. But I think I may I may buy a grenade and, and throw it on here and check it out in the future. But uh, yeah, that was pretty nice. Moving back uh, to the other sighting system is my Aimpoint T2 on a ScalarWorks 157. Now, a lot of people are talking about the 193. I'm not a big fan of the 193 because whenever I get my rifle up, I just... I don't have that cheek positioning on here, and to me it just feels like a little bit more uh, visual recoil And whenever I'm shooting. I just feel like having that cheek rest is a solid, a solid base for my rifle, and I like that a lot. Saying that, I do have a, a 193 mount on one of my training rifles, and that's where I got it. I didn't want to spend all the money on, on these because they're pretty expensive to find out that I don't like it. So I just went ahead and got that, and that's why I always buy the cheaper version of something to see if I like it. Plus, I don't run an, uh, 193 or 226 because I don't have night vision, and that's the main purpose behind that. So if you don't have night vision, not a big deal. Uh, but yes, I definitely love the Scalar Works mount. It's a ratchet system. Very cool. Aimpoint T2 is amazing. Uh, I bought the bundle from them. They sell a bundle, and it's a little bit cheaper if you buy them separate. Uh, then buying them separate. I'm sorry. So I definitely recommend going to Scalar Works. If you're going to buy the, the combo, go to Scalar Works and buy their combo because you can get them both for cheaper than if you buy them separately. 
So the charging handle is an Aero Precision Breach. Uh, I like Aero Precision that came out with the OD Green. It's anodized, so it seems a little bit brighter. But, uh, oh well, I still like it. I had a BCM in here for a while and a Radian. Radians are awesome, but I switched to uh, Aero Precision just because I like them through the Radian and a different gun. BCM Bolt Carrier Group. Uh, <clears throat> primary Weapon Systems. Buffer tube, ratchet system, end plate, castle nut. Uh, it also has a QD for your sling. I uh, really like that. I like the ratchet system. It's it's kind of exactly like this, and uh, it, it works out pretty good. I've fired thousands of rounds. I haven't had any problems with it, so I'm going to continue to run it. BCM stock, I like it. It fits on the PWS buffer tube really well. Uh, inside, I got JP Enterprise Springs and... I don't remember what buffer weight, but I'm pretty sure it's a mid-length, a mid-length weight. I think that's 4.4 ounces. So moving on, this is a Seekins Precision Lower. Uh, the reason I run this lower is because it has an ambidextrous bolt release, so I do not have to hit the bolt release on the other side. I got it right there. I like that. Uh, I don't really care for the Magpul bad lever or the Knight's Armament deal because it, it comes through here and I don't want anything in my trigger guard, uh, especially, you know, something that'll cause me to have operator error and hit the trigger on accident or whatever. So some people like them. That's just my personal preference. I don't run them. I bought this lower so I could have an ambidextrous bolt release. Uh, this is an MKM grip i like it i uh, got it custom made it's od green the trigger is cmc texas company uh three and a half pound trigger and then i have strike industries uh trigger pins the thing that i uh have read about the cassette and by cassette i mean one piece triggers is that whenever you put the the trigger and hammer pin in with the screws on them, if you tighten them down too much, they can't rotate while they're in there, and it'll cause the trigger and hammer springs to wear out faster. Now, I have never encountered this, but I am using these trigger and hammer pins by Strike Industries with the clips on them so that, you know, I don't have to worry about it. So, I do that. Uh, Seekins Precision's Lower Parts Kit. And that brings me to the end of this video. I hope y'all liked it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I've been running this gun for a couple of years now, and I really like it. Uh, I will be coming out with a part three on my concealed carry and then my home defense gun. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a great day. If y'all have any comments, drop them below, and I'll, uh, I'll answer the questions as well as I can. But God bless. I'll see you at the range.